Hey everybody, this is Virgil with Twin Peaks Off-Road and today uh, and yesterday uh, we had our whole team in here working on our 2000 TJ. So uh, we are getting close to putting it back on the ground and putting tires on it and making it run, which we will show some pictures of here in a little bit. But I just want to do a quick walkthrough and let everybody kind of see what it is we've done with this. And we do have some build pictures that we're going to be posting and some build videos that we'll post a little bit later too. Anyway, uh, we have our mechanics on this so we'll leave them alone. So for our 2000 TJ, uh, we installed a G2 uh, 35 spline Detroit Acker, sorry, it has an ARB air locker in it, 35 spline 44. Uh, this one we ordered with disc brakes on the back, so now the G, we got rid of the 35, which is actually right there, and it's for sale. If somebody wants it, come see me. You can't make it too low of an offer. This is a 44, brand new rear end chromoly 35 spline axles. Uh, G2. One thing I want to show you when you do install one of these G2s, they come with the uh, immediate parts for the disc brakes. All of this work, all the brake wash work, all of this stuff, we fabbed all that here in the shop. That can't, that can't really be done. You can use your existing lines, but you would have to cut them and shorten them. So we just chose to go ahead and build our own new ones and then connect it through here. That's an idea. We also, in the meantime, to make things even tougher, we installed the uh, four, that's a four inch Rough Country X lift. Uh, we chose to go on this Jeep with the short arms rather than the long arms for ease of installation for one. But also what we find is when, when you're rock crawling, sometimes with the long 